YouTube. Welcome to Geek. Shh. So before we proceed to the transcoding part of the video, let me give you an overview of the process. So depending on what we're using to transcode, the setup might be slightly different, but we're always going to use Windows 10 with 32 gigabytes of RAM. We're going to use the same 4K movies so that each video can be compared with the others. Now, the reason we're going to use 4K movies is because it puts the most pressure on your Plex server. You see, your server can directly play tens of 4K movies. It can directly play tens of 1080p movies. It also can transcode tens of 1080p movies. But how many 4K movies can it transcode simultaneously? That's the question we are trying to answer in these videos. So a few things you should know is my ISP gives me one gigabyte download and also one gigabyte upload speeds. We purchased the Plex Pass so that we can enable hardware transcoding, meaning we're going to use a graphic card or the iGPU of the Intel CPU to do the transcoding of the movies. We are also going to use Google Chrome web browser. Now, the reason for using Google Chrome web browser is because of the tabs that Chrome dis displays. Now, the tabs in the upper right will have a speaker icon. The speaker icon is significant because if it disappears, that means that one of our movies is buffering. Buffering means that we are hitting the limits of what our setup can actually handle. Now, we're also going to focus in on HW info. The reason for that is that will allow us to pay attention to how many gigs of RAM we are utilizing during this process. Also, the total CPU usage as well as the total iGPU usage. We also gonna be able to see the total UPS load, which would let us know how much wattage we are utilizing during the whole process. We also gonna be looking at the temperature, but that's not as important as the rest. Now, the 4K movie sizes will range anywhere between 9.9 .9 gigabytes all the way up to 54 gigabytes. All the movies are 4K 10-bit, but the first nine of them are also HDR10. Now, out of all the movies, only two of them are actually Remux movies. Those two movies are Glory and Home Alone. I also need to mention that subtitles will be, will be off for this process. So now that we got all that out the way, let's proceed with the test. All right, y'all. So let's go ahead and get it started. Let's go on down to the transcoder. All right, let's go down here and let's let's change this from the 630 to the A310. Save the changes. We have the dashboard here and we have the movies. Let's go ahead and get things started. Let's start off with Glory. Let's go ahead and pop that open. Come on now, classic movie. Denzel Washington crying on cue. Come on, man. You know what it is. Classic, classic. All right, so let's go ahead and start that up. And if you remember the A380 video that I put up, you had to wait a few seconds before you can initiate the transcode with the A380. Let's see if it's like that with the A, the A310. Um, let's go to the dashboard. Did it try? All right, it might not be like that with the A310. You know, we had to wait like 10, 15 seconds or the transcode wasn't gonna go through with that one. But yeah, Glory, classic movie, man. It's, it's go ahead and it's transcoding. That's one movie up. Let's check in with the system. All right, we at five gigs of memory. Uh, total CPU usage is low. It should be low because we're not stream transcoding. We're transcoding off a of GPU. Here go the temperatures of the CPU. Um, here go the iGPU usage. Like I said, we're transcoding off the graphic card, so that shouldn't be. That should stay at zero percent. Um, this is the V core. That don't really matter. Let's go ahead down to it. All right, there we go. The GPU here, go to a 310. So the GPU power is about 15 Watts. Um, and it's doing 22% hovering around 20% jumping around. So that's what it's doing right now. Overall, this is the only thing that should be working. The a 310. That's the only thing that should be doing a lot of utilization. UPS power load overall power of the entire system 79 Watts. I usually sit around 54 Watts without the graphic card in it. And make sure you pay attention to the temperatures right here because the case is closed that it's in. So it's like a real, a real world test right here because the temp the case is closed. So 
if it stay cool, then we know we got something. So, all right, let me just go ahead and let's get to the second movie. Um, what well, we did right there. So, The Sixth Sense. Come on now. Classic, man. Classic. Bruce Willis, man. You know what I mean? You got to appreciate Bruce Willis. You got to appreciate Bruce Willis while he's here, man. I think he has dementia or something. So, you're not going to see him in any movies from here on out, man. So, you got to appreciate the movies that you did see him in. Uh, the Sixth Sense. You know, he had those classic um, Die Hard movies. Shout out to Bruce Willis, man. This is just a classic. If you've never seen this, make sure you go check that out, man. So we got that up. Let's go ahead and force that transcode. Uh, 720 high. Boom. Get back to the dashboard. It's transcoding. All right. So we got two movies. We got two movies going. Let's go ahead and drop a third one in there. And then we're going to check back in with our, with our system. See what the stats at. Make sure you pay attention to these volumes because if these volumes go away, that means it's buffering and it's no longer we is we gotta stop. So let's go ahead and get to that uh third movie, Hocus Pocus. Come on now. You know what I mean? Don't judge me on this one, you know. Hocus Pocus one was my sh when I was a kid. It was my sh You know what I mean? I personally still never watched this one. I don't know why they took so long to even do this one. Let's go ahead and fish. Uh, push that uh, transcode. Sarah Jessica Parker still look good, man. She still look amazing, man. She's still doing her thing, man. Shout out to her, man. All right, it already transcoded. So it's transcoding pretty fast, man. You know, if you remember the A380 video that we did, man, it didn't transcode fast. We had to wait. So let's go ahead and check back in with the system. All right, we at six gigs, 6.5 gigs of memory being used. All right, temperatures is whatever. That don't really matter. And GPU, 17 watts still, 33%. Uh, um, UPS load, 97 watts overall in the entire system. So uh, the temperature right here is around 56. You know what I mean? The temperature didn't really change. So, all right. So it ain't really pushing too crazy. So let's go ahead and jump back in with the system. Pay attention to those volumes, man. Let's get back into, let's get to the fourth movie, man. Let's get to the fourth movie. Come on now. Classic movie, man. Home Alone, man. Macaulay Culkin, man. You can't go wrong, man. It's, it's so long ago. You know, it was a classic movie when it dropped when, you know, when I was a kid. But it still ring off to this day, hands down. Still ring off during Christmas. This is one of the movies you got to turn on during Christmas, man. The kids will appreciate it, man. Definitely, man. Classic, classic movie, man. Shout out to Macaulay Culkin, man. I don't think he really did anything else with his career, but, you know, between this and uh, My Girl, come on, man. That's all he needed to do, basically. Let's go. All right. So now checking back in the system, you know, 34. All right. We up to seven. So go back in, man. Let's let's drop the let's drop the fifth movie, man. Remember, these are the two remixes, Home Alone and Glory are the two remix movies. All right, so let's go ahead. Aretha Franklin, R-E-S-B-E-C-T. Find out what it means to me. All right, this movie was okay, man. I really, you know, got it for this chick I was dealing with at the time, man. You know what I mean? I wasn't really sweating it like that. It's an okay movie, man. You know, whether you watch it, whether you don't, don't really matter in my book, man. It ain't really all that good, man. It's not like a must-watch type situation. Um, we forced the transcode, right? Let's see if it go through. We might already, hold on, what's going on? All right, it started transcoding. So where are we at right now? We at five uh, 4K movies, you know, two are Remux, The Glory and The uh, Home Alone. None of them buffering yet, and they're all going. You know what I mean? Check back in with the system, man. Where are we at? 21 watts, we jumped up to 21 watts. This is very low. All right, man, we jumping up 90. Uh, it's not a good sign. <laughs> it's not a good sign. System, overall system use, 90 watts to 100. All right, and we had uh, basically almost at 10 gigabytes of memory. You know what I mean? Temperature, the CPU don't really matter. And obviously the IGPU is not doing anything at all. So that don't really matter. So 60 degrees Celsius, you know what I'm saying? So let's go ahead and push this again jumping up to 90 that's not a good sign let's go ahead and push another movie man uh avengers come on now classic man thanos man can't lose can't lose with thanos man let's get it let's get it together man 
I will, I'm not even into this Marvel universe. I'm an old school type of guy, man. X Men stuff like that, man. So, but when I saw this movie, this was just amazing. I didn't even know the characters that was in there. I never even heard of all that, Avenge, all those other characters. But this was an amazing movie, man. Part one and part two, man. Thanos is one of the coldest people I ever seen on screen, hands down. Oh, this is taking a long time. Hold on. We might have hit our limit. This video might be over early. This might. Where are we at here? It's still at direct stream. Hold on. All right. It just hit the transcode. So. All right. It just hit the transcode. So right now we got six movies up. It literally just hit the transcode, but that took a long time. Where are we at right here? All right. 90. All right. You generally, when you see this hit, if you're using the IGPU, this or total CPU usage, when they start hitting 99 to 100, that's a dub. You can't do no more movies. You know what I mean? But overall, the system is handling pretty well. You see it. We at 60 degrees on the GPU and we hovering around 90. We get in there with it, man. Um, It's hanging in there, though, man. Um, Pay attention to these volumes on here. If one of them go away, that means it's buffering. So. We asked six. Let's go ahead and hit another one. Let's go ahead and hit another one, man. Terminator, man. Come on now. Good movie. Good movie. You know what I mean? I'm still one that grew up on these, this series. Terminator, they said, is like the first movie to ever have a part two that was better than the part one. So I think they did not let down the franchise with this movie at all, man. I really liked it. This and the Rambo movie. I really like both of them, man. So. Yeah, let's go ahead and uh, force this transcode real quick. Uh, 720 high, man. Let's see what's going on. Let's see how long it takes to hit the transcode. Is that direct streaming? Hold on. Hold on. Didn't hit the transcode yet, man. Make sure you're paying attention to these volumes. Damn, it still ain't hit the transcode. What's going on? Oh, man. That ain't looking good, man. That ain't looking good. It still didn't hit the transcode. Oh, oh, we might have tapped out. Yeah, we might have tapped out because that still ain't hit the transcode. These movies are still going well. Let's check in with the system, man. 97%, 96, 97, man. Yeah, it ain't looking good. That joint still didn't hit the transcode yet. The other movies are still going though. Hocus Pocus, Home Alone, uh, Respect, uh, Avengers, Six Sense. Hold on. Glory. Those are still going well, man. But this one did not hit the transcode. Let, let's 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 try it again. Let's try it again. But I really think that's you know basically a dub. Let's wait the 15 seconds on this one. Shit, it ain't damn. It ain't even starting now. <laughs> It's not, it's not even start. Hold on, let's let's X out of that. Let's let's. I don't want to give up yet. Let's go with Sisu. I still ain't watched this movie. This is one of the movies I gotta watch one day. Let's go ahead with Sisu. Let's start from the beginning. Mm -mm. See, playing it should not ne never be an issue because at the end of the day, uh, right now it's just direct playing. You could direct play tens of 4K movies. The problem comes with transcoding. So let's see. Let's wait till it get to 15 seconds. Oh, glory just buffered. Yeah, it's the dub. That's the dub, guys. Glory just buffered. We ain't even got to go this route. Glory just buffered, man. Oh, six cents buffered too. Jesus Christ. Six cents just buffered too, man. So yeah, that ain't going to work, man. Where are we at right now? He's still jumping around the 90%. Yeah, so for this one for this one i'm gonna say you can transcode uh, let me let me see uh, yeah for this one because it's, it's buffering man so for this one i'm gonna go ahead and say you should put the transcode limit to five it should be at five to comfortably transcode with the a310 in my humble opinion well not even in my opinion y'all seen it for y'all all right guys so y'all went ahead and saw what it can do 
this hands down, even though it only did five 4K transcodes, I believe this is hands down my favorite card that I've seen. Um, and if I ever go the route where I need actually need a GPU, this is the GPU I will purchase. I only bought this to really just test it out and I plan on bringing it back just for the channel to test it out for let people know what it can actually handle. This hands down, I think is the best one there is because it's a single slot GPU. It's so, it's so much of a single low profile that it actually fits in my small form factor Plex server, which is a Jones bow N1 case. Not a lot of cards could fit in this one. So it really fits in there. And that's why I think it's, it's amazing. Even if I had, if, even if my Plex server was something like the Meshify 2 XL, huge case, I still will use this because it's such, it's only one slot. You can't lose with that. So this is definitely one that I will look towards if I was to get it. I went ahead and did a Plex test with this with just five movies running. And I did it for 15 minutes and nothing buffered. It played everything straight through. It was zero problems. So I think this is an amazing card. Intel really, you know, they uh, thank Sparkle for finally coming out with a card like this because I believe this was all they were missing in the Intel GPU lineup. And I think this really completes it. And I think a lot of people are going to be getting this particular card. They do have other low profiles, but the fan on the other low profiles make it a two slot card instead of a one. This is the only one slot card they have. So definitely um i think this is the way to go so what i'm gonna go ahead and do is um obviously uh before y'all see this video y'all would have seen the a380 y'all would have seen the 12900k y'all would have seen the 10400 i think my next video will be the 6600 xt because i'm very interested in seeing if it can really even amd is not really known for transcoding movies on plex that's not what it's known for so it's going to be interesting to see if that's what it uh, can do so please like comment and subscribe and turn on the notifications because more of these videos will be coming once again my name is demarco Payne, and for geek and last but not least may the good news be yours